What is up, everybody? This is Michael Filesage checking in here. I hope you guys are having a great day, morning, or night. And today I want to make a quick video about how to re-liquidify solid agar. So here's a little backstory on this. So yesterday I was going to pour some plates and I started a little late in the evening. So I was like, oh, you know, I might as well speed things up. So I took the agar out of the pressure cooker after the pressure naturally left. That's what I recommend you do also for jars. And I took it out of there and then in a big brain move, I put it out on the cold November air in the balcony. So I left it there for 30 minutes, came back to check check the temperature with my awesome heat gun that one of you awesome people contributed to the great cause. And basically, uh, I realized uh, basically it wasn't to temperature. So I came back in another 30 minutes and I saw that it was at 100 degrees. That's what I read on the heat gun. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I like to start pouring from around 51 degrees Celsius. And it was still at 100 so i was like wow this media bottle is really good at maintaining heat this is some good quality stuff <laughs> and then i realized oh wait this isn't fahrenheit so basically this thing solidified or started solidifying on the bottom and it was unpourable so i was like okay well i don't have time to heat this back up and then wait for it to cool and then start pouring and then after pouring i like to wrap my plates i know some some people don't but i like to do it to be safe before i use them so i didn't have time for that whole process because it takes hours so i decided okay well it's solidified anyways i'll do it tomorrow what's the difference so that's what i'm gonna do from here so i wanted to show you guys how you could re-liquidify your plates because the annoying thing about agar is that it starts to solidify once you get to around like 42-ish degrees Celsius, anywhere from 42 to 30 degrees Celsius. So once it solidifies or starts to solidify, you can't re-liquidify it by just going back up to, for example, 50 degrees Celsius, you know, pouring temperature. You have to go all the way up to 85 degrees Celsius to make it back to liquid form. So that's what I'm going to do here. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting this in the microwave and I'm gonna do a couple minutes at a time, heat it up, leave the cap a little unscrewed. So you don't really want it to completely boil. You don't wanna do like a long period of time at once in the microwave. You wanna do a couple minutes at a time. And you know, every time you should take it out, shake it up and then put it back again and keep doing it until it's all liquid. Now, of course, before you shake it up, you wanna make sure that you screw the cap on properly, then shake it and then unscrew it a little and then heat it up and just repeat the process until it's melted. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's pretty much all you use a microwave for in this hobby. So here we are guys. In total, this took nine minutes. Not all at once, of course. Every I would do three minutes at a time, but it's beautiful. It doesn't look to be caramelized. So this is, I'm gonna wait for this to cool down and I'm going to pour these babies. As a recap, once agar cools down, right? Once it solidifies, then to re-liquidify it, you want to heat it back up to 85 degrees Celsius. Okay, that is 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So once you get it back up, it'll become liquid and then you just wait to cool it down and then you can pour it again. Microwave is a great way to do it. Very easy. All right, thanks for watching guys. Michael File Sage, checking out.